Evening, thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 11. Wednesday night storms took a toll on a big part of our viewing area, including Grundy County. And News Channel 9's Alyssa Sparato made her way to Colony Road in Grootley Lager and found out one family that was having to pick up the pieces after the rough weather damaged their home. Alyssa? Kim Calvin, Josh Caldwell, says it usually takes about 10 minutes to get from his work to home. But he says after the storms hit, it took him about two hours. And what he found when he pulled up to his front door left him without words. Well, I, I actually thought it would be worse than what it was. Josh Caldwell says he's thankful that when the storm came through, he and his family weren't home. I just didn't know what to say or what to think at the time. I was just, just glad, you know, it, it ain't as bad as it was. It could have been worse. But luckily, it's not as bad as it could have been. This is what Caldwell came home to after a long night at work on Wednesday. The storm tore through his yard and even his home, uprooting trees and tearing off a piece of his roof, not to mention rows and rows of downed power lines in his front yard. Well, the reason we had to put the plastic up because there's a big old hole on top of the roof. So that way when it rains until the insurance company comes, so no more water to get in the house. He says he's been without power since Wednesday, putting a strain on his four-year-old son and wife. They're staying with their parents right now, so which they got power right now. He says he's now getting help from his insurance company, which is making the process a little easier to handle. Oh, actually, they're doing real good right now. They're providing us you know, with a place to live right now. Um, they're calling, asking if we need anything. So, I mean, they're doing really good for us. Although they'd been without power for days, Caldwell's wife told me they were happy with the response of the electric company. She witnessed them working sometimes until 2 or 3 a.m. And just about an hour and a half ago, the Caldwells called and told us their power is back on. Calvin, back to you. Okay, thanks, Alyssa. We spoke with a representative from the Sequatchie Valley Electric this afternoon. She says everyone should have power back on by morning.